music courtesy of him too so remember if you have requests coming let them come our way at uh, y254 channel on our facebook page y254 underscore channel on uh, instagram and uh, we have a question for you on our facebook page and we're asking what is the difference between rap and hip-hop i uh, would like to hear your views your perception dj rajas rajas Ulkuna sema, you know you guys mulili kazia, mulili kazia John Cena by show ma Josie, but it's okay, it's all right to kakubali. It's a rap song. All right. He means get kakuwa quite more quite. It's nili kubali, nili kubali. Instead of her rapping skills are on top. Uh, so what you wakupata wapi mtandaoni? Uh, at Rajiz the DJ. Mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page. Rajiz the DJ. Rajiz ni R A J Y Z. Mix SP and Mix Cloud, Raj is the DJ. All right, now, yeah. say, Basi, don't forget to send in your uh, your idea or rather what you think of uh, rap and hip hop. Is it the same thing or is it something which is different? Is the uh, difference between rap and hip hop, right? Yeah. They should do that. At Y254 channel on our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can, uh, you can find me. And uh, once again, when you look at the fashion trends in the hip-hop music scene, the culture, it's quite different. Uh, every single day, new things are evolving. And uh, it's been a while that I've seen young people uh, roaming the, the hood with the funny pack. Yeah. And our guest today has one equally, and he'll be telling us uh, more about his uh, style and uh, who brought about uh, uh, this look. It goes by the name uh, none other than Clinchy Royal in the building. Yeah. yeah. Yes, thank you very much for coming through. We appreciate so introduce yourself. It's a privilege to be here actually. Mm -hmm. So I go by the name of Clinchy Royal in all social media handles as was an get at Clinchy Royal. I'm a hip hop urban artist. I believe Manzevi is the right person to take Kenyan music to the next level. The right yeah. person to take the Kenyan music to another level. And speaking about fashion trends, uh, we saw uh, Octopizo uh, during one of the shows uh, uh, in on TV station. Uh, he has a very unique style hairdo, and uh, it was cornrows and a hair extension. And people were focusing much on what he had going on on, on his head, uh, apart from just the fact that he has a new jump coming out, Kanye. So fashion trends in uh, hip hop scene, it's quite evolving. Every single day now, Okton Ulem say he doesn't really care about what people say. And um, on that note, let's find out the three basic things you can't uh, leave Nyumbani Bila as a clingy on your funny pack. Okay. <laughs> so it's a full bag actually because I need label Adidas. All right. The three things is the achamta. No one else ever told me same. Ah, what tabu? Oh, you. Kamu leza tu nyeshi tibu way better. Two ones eh. So the first thing actually mm -hmm. is my wallet. Okay. Because man, without my wallet, jo. Uh, and not pay a date in a jeep during the date. No, like Lazima, during yeah. the day. Let's see, ma. Chums. <laughs> so wallet okay. is my first thing. All right. The second thing, ni my key, keys to my house. Keys to the house. Yeah. Keys to the. Mm -hmm. Another thing, when they say this, ah, so, ni ipiango umpi a zone into the. You don't know. Eh, uh, pull up, pull up. Says I can't leave my house without a copy. You do. Because like, uh, uh, clean sheet. Do you want to tell us you work with your albums, twenty four seven in the streets? Mm. Am I in, in because you're coming to you know? Even if I don't have the hard copy, uh -huh. I have the soft copies with me. <laughs> Something yeah. else? Mm. Oh, yes, the three. Okay. Mm, you've already given me three. Wallet, key. keys. The last thing. I'm going to album you carry soft copy. Oh, your phone. Very yeah, important. I can't leave my phone. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's always a perception, or I would like to call it stereotyping of the hip hop music. Uh, yeah. uh, in the, the culture, people tend to associate hip hop music with aggressiveness and gang violence. What are the some of the uh, stereotype comments you've heard about the hip hop, hip -hop music scene? So, okay. Men the mentality of everyone out there. If mm -hmm. you are a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. you're from a particular gang. When you gangster, as in you steal, you rob people. Cause you see us as hip hop artists, mm -hmm. we are the voice of the ghettos. Okay. So it happen to a hood, like me don't my honor. Mm -hmm. And there are some people out there they don't have the talent to express. Let me as I express with my music. So as much as you can hear. Some less lyrics, lyrics name is name tell bit too bad, gang violence, 
police brutality, drugs. To be honest, these are things that happen. Yes. And if we don't talk about them, hakuna mtu atabongo na cheki. Exactly. And that's so, why they say yeah. an artist is the mirror to the society. True that. Msanii ni kiwa la jamii. Yeah. Okay. So stereotype mean shall get. Wasa wanasema mimi ni gangster. I'm a any drug dealer cuz wasaki skia lyrics. But to be honest, I'm just, I'm, I'm that sweet guy. Tunaza kachini tubonge, tunaza reason. Yeah. I'm a changed guy actually, but if you hear my music, lazima ni kuwe true to my culture, where I'm from. So nikiona police brutality cuz I've you gone through that. It. Yeah, I've gone yes. through that harassment. This is it is not even say. So how did your parents uh, yeah. take uh, uh, take the whole idea of you taking music as a career and uh, especially doing hip hop music whereby it has different perception from people out there. So let me say this actually I'm an orphan, I don't have parents. Okay. So, pull it to that, but anyway, it's uh, yeah, yeah, I believe. I understand. Yeah. So, me not having You're parents mm -hmm. gave me that ambition to that without this music, this end of the only thing it can talk or in Jonona, if I need go hard, but. When you big up my parents, it's my big sis. All right. Yeah, many support from way shout back. Shout out to you, sis. Yeah, shout out Manze Vesh. Salute mm -hmm. Manze, I love you so much. And mm -hmm. So, all in all, I'm a quick show support. No, which is a good thing, first, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I'm sure. Like me from way back, eh, like she asked me, hey, when I talk to me, I want to make my mind. Mm -hmm. hey, I want to be a rapper. So at first, you know, you all know how Kenyan parents, guardian, yes, yeah. acting you can be on a day a rapper. They always ask, and then what else are you going to do apart from yeah. music? Yeah, this was at first, question. maybe it was negative, but I had to prove her that mm -hmm. it, it, it was worth it. But with time, I'll have to support. Even when I went to college, mm -hmm. Ali allowed me to study my passion because I'm also a filmmaker and I'm a video editor. I'm yes, a graduate. Yes, uh, because you've, you've already uh, <laughs> jumped into that. I've seen oh, your. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've seen your jam, uh, Jeshila Dago, uh, from uh, last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, so Jeshila Dago, and then also so it incorporated other artists who are yeah, actually featured. That's my crew. All right. And I saw in the credits, you they highlighted you one of your uh, editors. So you have other skills apart from just uh, being an artist, and uh, probably should mention some of them. And let's talk about uh, Jeshila Dago. Okay, Jeshila Dago. So let's start from the song itself. Jeshila Dago, it's a jam from my album, The Rise Up. You mm -hmm. can get it at Boomplay, my MOOC. So. Since I have these skills, na nilikuwa na resources, nilikuwa na link ya studio, then mm -hmm. nikawana manze, these are my boys wako mm -hmm. hood, mm -hmm. and they are also talented as I am. Mm -hmm. So nikiwa bring to light to grow pamoja, yeah. itakuwa kitu positive. Right. So actually they are, uh, they are my crew, they know me from way back, even because right. I was a kid, I was anything, I was a clean chin, I was a hood, I was a hustle. Na pia bro yangu mbigia kwa hapo, so mean me meant even my big bro, and it was Luvi. Mm -hmm. And actually, he's a coach in East Africa Got Talent. Mm -hmm. Kuriaki me pass. Uh, mm -hmm. Kali dramas. Shout out mm -hmm. to Luvi, Sinclair, Duji, Mwaki. Shout out to all of them. Time normal. So, <laughs> so let's look at. Um, so, Jeshila Dagu Katoka, although you're representing your hood. My hood yeah. And then now, what was the next? Because uh, this was a mixtape. Was it part of the mixtape or this was now the EP? Oh, Jeshila Dagu is from my. My joint album. Joint album. Yeah, after my... So I started with that. Maybe I can... Because we have the Royal Highness, which yeah. is your mixtape. So I started mixtape. out with a mixtape yes. called Royal Highness. Then we so had to... So, I Lily Record Project Yote by myself, Nikiwa Kole. All right. Then, Kenya Tu Nilipatia, Nilipatia producer mix. Mm -hmm. So I did everything from recording, Leona G Record, and a booth, and a record, aligning the whole project. Mm -hmm. Then my producer Ali did Ali do only the edit the mixing part. Okay. But me do the, the whole thing. Then so that was a way of introducing yourself into yeah, the game. Yeah. Through your mixtape. Then let's move to your now your EP which is a Formula Success. Yeah, so after then my mixtape I went to Formula Success. All right. I recorded it at Supersonic Africa where they host Cox Studio. Mm -hmm. Actually I took advantage because I was an intern there. So me being around this big studio and I'm talented. Manze single let opportunity pass. So I was left alone in studio. 
I recorded myself nine tracks. Mm -hmm. I can say this is one of my professional projects. If you hear mm -hmm. sound, manze quality on another level. Mm -hmm. So this is my second project ndo ilini ili, ili pe limelight because mm -hmm. unezangalia track kama mkwanja, mm -hmm. iko na video iko hapo YouTube from Formula Success. Yes guys, you should check it uh, out. Yeah. Royal Highness, yeah. Royal Highness ndo ilini pati ya platform because iko na ngome inaitwa Dreamer. Yeah, then after that, then we jump. I'm speaking right. about Dreamer, and now we have a single which is out for in two weeks, known as My Way. Yeah. There's one thing that is cutting across, which is uh, your love for music and uh, the fact that you're looking for success out of it. Yeah. And I believe there are challenges as an artist, and you've been into the game since 2016. That's a long period of time compared to someone who's just starting off. How do you ensure you stay sane and be focused uh, as you hit the studio to re release another song or even an album as we speak of which you're promoting right now? So what I can say, it's mm -hmm. all about consistency. Consistency, right? Yeah. And being consistent on our work daily because if you drop one project and relax, actually, mm -hmm. hey, have a project. No, you must keep on working and working. Mm -hmm. And you make a mentality, even right now, mm -hmm. Nikona a new EP. Mm -hmm. Sema, since I have a new project mm -hmm. available in my digital platform, I can just mm -hmm. relax. So I always strive to be better because mm -hmm. I believe I haven't reached my destiny. I'm Definitely. just starting. Yes. Yeah. So this is just a foundation and I want it to be firm, a strong foundation. So for you, you it's all about consistency regardless of how you Because yeah. not every day you feel like... Yeah. No, I'm so sure, Regis, it's not like every day you feel like showing up to every gig because you have also personal issues. So how do you even handle that for you? Because uh, we have different challenges, the, yeah. They could disappoint the client. Okay. So you just put yourself together, you just show up. So you have to show up regardless yeah. of how you're feeling because yeah, you success is all about just uh, showing up and consistency as you have actually put it. So you spoke about uh, the... You don't know as uh, as the the album that you're promoting right now, and yes. it's the first single on your album. Yes. You spoke of it as the best project that you ever done. Why would you say that? Why, so what is different between uh, uh, now you know, or is it you don't know? You don't know. You don't know, and yeah, uh, the previous the one, is, which is Rise Up. In Formula Success. Yeah. So what is different with this album? First of all, I can say this is my best project mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. because we may invest a lot on it. Mm -hmm. I've paid for every track, so I own the whole project. This share is mine. All right. So, me and the executive producers in our own project, because we have everything from producer and studio. Then, I can say, I go hard, because mm -hmm. I've managed to balance, apart from music. All right. I also work. I work with Nokia company. Okay. So, Nime, nime, nime manage time and my career because mm -hmm. I was coming out of work at five, mm -hmm. then in a, in a studio, mm -hmm. na record project the whole night. So he project is recording three days. In three days, oh. yeah. After working for let's say one year, we okay. plan. Well, what would you say? Um, is it easier for an artist to have a couple of so many singles and then you just uh, compile them as an album, or would you? How does it work for you? Do you do you have a couple of singles that you're yet to release, or do you go with your time whereby I feel like this is the right time I'm supposed to release an album, so I'm going to do it right now, or is this something that you've been done, you've been doing uh, previous years or previous months, and then you just decide I'm going to pick this one and that one in my compilation for an album? So speaking on my side. Actually, neza sema ni kona tracks zingine si release. Okay. So as an so you artist, work prior, you yeah. have a list of okay. So, la, me I always make sure kila track na release mm -hmm. ni kitu asewa to accept. Mm -hmm. So if I feel manze a hey, track just if feel if I don't feel it mm -hmm. I'll not drop it. Okay. So tracks zani ni me select in my every project mm -hmm. ni me kachini ni me do my rehearse everything ni me record mm -hmm. then I sit down and decide man. Then this will be track number one, track mm. number two. Then I compile them. Then you can choose the other way. Can you mesema? Okay. Unaza kuna record constantly, constantly in years. Then after, for that, those period of years, can you mekona record? Una compile the whole project, okay. those singles. Then una drop ka album. All right. As we wind yeah. up, are you signed under any label? Because I've seen BNG Media yeah. in most of your projects. And uh, like, uh, there's this one I've forgotten, but... Um, uh, they've been in Dreamer also. I've, I've seen them on um, My Way. 
yeah. and a couple of others, so many of them I've seen uh, being G-Label. Are you signed under them or how, how did you guys uh, okay, work me, it out? Let me give you this story. So <laughs> There's a story behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's summarize the story. Summary can also be sweet. It's yes. uh, simple. Yes. So big shout out to my producer Network Clue. Shout so, out to you, Clue. Clue, man, they big up. So we met with Clue back in college. Okay. Then only mix my first project, mm -hmm. Relinus. Mm -hmm. So me and my wife one producer, all the way. All the way. Until this project, my wife a new producer. Mm -hmm. So we just say, even if we can't get Kendrick, I know so my wife a producer more. The producer can it was Ali. So me as an artist, I need to identify who the producer and just sound the angle. To grow up more since those four projects. Mm -hmm. Then. After clearing college, to decided to join up. Mm -hmm. Then we open up that studio. Mm -hmm. I can say it's a partnership. So, but me, I'm not signed to any label. Okay. There's a many independent artist. I work with anyone. There it is. So, speaking about working with anyone, do you have any intention to collaborate? And uh, if yes, which particular artist would you like to work with? Mm. But I can work with other artists. And I believe. Kila msia kona ati yake, so ni kona room kwa kuna any other artist. Mm -hmm. Msene za dai kwa kuna, actually ni mewa kuna Hood Avenue, kuna track mpini tuwa Ghetto Superstars, kuneza Icheki. So in Kenya, artist neza dai kwa kuna. Mm. Just mention two. Two? Yeah. Two artists, that's just. Let me mention two when you may inspire. All right. Okuto na kali, haa, siyama ni jenga, kwa zo menisho, kuneza toka Hood na Urize. Yes, isa ni jina kubwa sana, Okuto na Kali Graf, and they're actually doing well uh, into the industry. Kali Kachel is coming up by Kali Graf Jones, and then we have uh, Okuto Pizzo releasing new jam known as Kenya. You give us your social media handles so that people back at home can keep up with what you're doing, uh, your new music, singles out more of albums because you are someone who actually releasing album after albums so give out your social media handles and now they can get back to you so tani patapo social media kila mahali youtube at clinchy royal facebook clinchy royal twitter clinchy royal i mean everywhere clinchy royal so your gm sisa ukozi sing maze akuna kubwa ilo akuna tuna fake maze yes mean go true to this yeah and you speak you actually your music speaks about um social issues that every youth is going through yeah. employment uh, success and love of art so make sure guys you follow uh clean roll across all of his social media handles he has some good in music for you all from albums eps why would you want to miss that he has as simple as clean chi roll at michelle yeah. ashira is where you can get me across all my social media platforms i remember we had asked we're still asking on our facebook page uh we have a, po a poster out there on our writing wall which is we are asking the difference between rap and hip hop music, and some of your comments are coming through. We have hard drugs, hard drugs, hard drugs, hard drugs. And I say, Makomba, rap is more about the poetry of words and word style, while hip hop is more about the music bit. I don't know what you think about that, but. Thank you very much, Hadrox. And then we have Kamau Robert and Asema. Big up, Clinchy, my classmate from high school. Hey, uh, hey, Kamau Robert. <laughs> so, hey, manze, first of all, yes. I'm a fan of you. 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 Shout out to all the high school and support. All the way from high school. Yeah, yeah, that's, a real, that's a real friend there. Yeah. And someone come by your music is dope. He's appreciating your art. Then you have Salim. Salim Dollar Boy, and I say I'm watching from uh, Mombasa, Shoi Komoto Sana. Uh, shout out to you, Salim, for me. Say. Then uh, we have Kerinyaga County, is very much locked. We have uh, Kagio Town, well represented. Show Ikolit Sana, play for me one thing, one thing by by Kwavu, Kwavu. One thing, wow. one thing, okay. <laughs> coming your way. Remember the hashtag to use is hashtag why in the morning, hashtag hip hop Thursday, why two five four across our social media platforms. And then you have another one from Nancy Njagi all day from Mombasa Tena. I'm a Sema Kwamba uh, represented all right. Then we have um, there are so many so I'll just um, finish up with Skip Khalifa and the rest shall be um, mentioned by the other, by Barry Moong and Karen. We have uh, Skip Khalifa saying your DJ the bro playing more calligraph Jones the king hip hop bro. Okay. We need to share calligraph Jones. Nisawa skip, Khalifa, it'll come through. Then we have Kong David. 
wa Unite Hip Hop. So niko ndani ya mchuzi. Huyu Kong David ako ndani ya mchuzi mchuzi ambao umeandaliwa na none other than uh, DJ Raji. So make sure you stay tuned and please let your comments come through from what we are asking which is what is the difference between rap and hip hop music and you have if you have any requests that you like DJ uh, Raji to play for you all you have to do is head out to our social media handles that is uh, Y254 channel on our Facebook page and uh, send in your request at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me and uh, I would equally be glad if you reach out to me yes DMs are very much welcomed uh, make sure you stay tuned DJ Raj has got you covered on the wheelist of good music right now we're going to hear from uh, Clinchy Royals and uh, he'll be representing on this ground of ours so let's hear what he has to for us Yes, I'm looking forward to Dreamer, but anyway, whatever jam is going to drop buzz on, I'm so down to it and I'm getting ready to listen to his good music. So, DJ Rajas, let's do this. Okay. 